Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar! What? Attack the Dragon Angels? He can't be! We killed him! We killed him! Nuts. Oh yeah, one other thing I forgot to mention. We did fight the uh, Dragon Angels earlier. Um, just a really... Uh, it's one on two with Alex. You just use Dragon Quake like, what, four or five times and it wipes them out? So, yeah, pretty simple. But still, not one-shotting them. Holy cow. <sighs> I'm not finished with you yet. You'll never make it out of here alive, dragon boy. Cower in fear as I demonstrate my true power. <laughs> okay! So, well, it's final boss time against Galleon Magic Emperor Alien thing. I don't know. Uh, first things first, we want to use Camp Defender to help with our... Uh, defense there. I'm going to have uh, Nash use Thunder Thrust at first because his physical attacks aren't quite as useful early on until I get a few stacks of uh, Deep Protect going there. But yeah, uh, Galleon becoming a giant alien monster? Uh, yeah. You got me on that one, viewers. I, I, I did not see that one coming. I'll be honest with you. But anyway, okay, so we got that going. Uh, let's see... I think we can still keep on going with our physical attacks for now. Uh, let's get Rest Litany on uh, yourself, obviously, since you took quite a bit of damage there. And I'll just keep on going with uh, Deep Protect there. Yeah, Galleon's a bit faster than uh, Jessica here. Sometimes, not always. But uh, you always want to try and stay on the top of the ball with uh, healing up there. Please don't hurt him. Yes, there we go. He either missed, or maybe that was Camp Defender in action. Uh, I don't know exactly, but uh, he missed, so that helps us out a lot. Okay, let's get uh, Cascade Litany going on Kyle there. Um, let's go another round with Thunder Thrust before trying out the physical attacks with Nash. Yeah, unfortunately, Magic Emperor is kind of hiding there, so Alex couldn't get to him fast enough. Oh, well. Yeah, it looks like that Camp Defender is uh, really helping us out here. He can't even damage us right now. So I'm making this look a lot easier than it actually is, viewers. So, okay, let's uh, let's try giving a physical attack shot there with Nash. Yeah, Magic Emperor's got, or Galleon, whatever he is now. He's uh, got a lot more defense now, so. All right, there we go. Now you're doing pretty good with that. Um, oh, we're kind of out. Uh, well, do the best you can. Probably not going to get everyone's attack in there. Uh, let's see. Let's go Cascade Litany on Nash there. Or, you know what? Let's go with another Camp Defender, just in case. Let's attack and deprotect there. Yeah, Alex just couldn't reach him. But, oh well. Why did you do that, Nash? Why didn't you, uh, I don't know, move out of the way or something? I don't know. But anyway, okay, we got that going. Camp, or not camp, uh, Cascade Litany. Uh, Nash there. Attack. Oh, Kyle's taking a bit of uh, damage there. Well, let's just keep on going. We can all hit uh, Galleon anyway, so. Uh, have you noticed, Galleon, you're uh, on fire there? I bet you I can live through this fire. What are you going to do? How, how are you kicking our ass while you are on fire? How does that even work? 
Let's use healing with me now. Uh, you know what? Let's go with bye bye air now. I think we got enough uh, stacks of deep protect going now. Bye bye air, most powerful spell that we got for Mia there in the game. There it is. Yeah, look at that animation. Most powerful spell in the game, and that's it. <laughs> I mean, the animation, the damage, what is that? There, there's nothing to it. It's, what the hell? I mean, whatever. I mean, it's just a spell, but... Damn it, Galleon! Oh, well. Whoa. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more healing, but... Or we could just kill him. Go, Nash! Okay, I forgive you, Nash, after your uh, betrayal there. Hmm? What's the problem? Well, yeah, you're kind of dead. Oh. Yeah, that would be a problem. Plus, I wouldn't get the booty. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we cannot murder innocent people, but you! You can murder people indiscriminately. What do you mean by that? Uh, I'd have to disagree with you guys. Oh, okay, or that. Well, we're trying to free Luna. I, I, I could care less about Alfina. Hmm. So one final puzzle. Whoa. She doesn't seem to be very happy with us. Well, she's still a girl. She's not a, a woman yet. Not that old. Not into the cougars, Alex. Oh, do the best I can. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Thank you, Kyle, for rambling on like that. Well, we defeated Galleon once and for all. Yeah, no uh, ending speech or anything. No, ha, 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 I tore you away from your one true love. He just dies, and that's it. There's really nothing to it. So, oh, wow. I mean, hey, this was, what, 1991 or 2 or something like that? So, hey, this was high-tech stuff back then. How do we do that? You're not going to tell us, are you, game? Well, what about you, Mia? You got any good advice? Yeah, the guys, uh, they, they really could care less about that sort of thing. Not into the romance. They just want to kick ass, take names, and save the world. How about you, Nal? You know Luna better than all the rest of those losers. Well, yeah, that is true. Hmm. How do we do that? Well... Do the best I can. Let's head on up there, then. Yeah. Uh, who's talking? Is that Luna? Whoa! It took off half my HP! Now... Well, I'll just tell you now. Yeah. You keep on going, you die. Just like the PlayStation version. But... You can start at a checkpoint, so you don't have to go through that all over again. So, yeah, they're a little more forgiving in this version of the, of the game. Yeah, let's try that one again. I lost? Wait a minute, I'm not supposed to lose? Now, anyway, what you're supposed to do here is play the harp. Remember, he doesn't have the ocarina. Or whatever it was. So, there we go. Play that, and this time it'll be a lot easier. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey. Uh, 
I thought I heard some people saying that uh, you could actually sell the harp in this version of the game. When you get to this point, you're screwed. You can't finish the game. I don't know if that's true. I never tried that out, but that sounds like a real bastard move. But anyway, someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, if you just kept on healing yourself after each one of those individual lightning bolts, uh, would you be able to reach Luna in time? And the answer is no. Eventually, you will get to a point where you get really, really close to her, and she'll just lightning bolt you for all of your HP, no matter what you do. So, yeah, there's no way to get, at, get around that. You have to play the harp and walk up to Luna. So that's pretty much your only option. I heard they didn't have that in the Japanese version of the game. Like this whole thing with uh, taking damage or playing the harp or something. I don't know. It was just a website that I saw that was talking about differences between the original Japanese and this version of the game. Uh, maybe I'm misremembering some details or something like that. I like how they spell Alex with XXX at the end. Thanks. That, that's a nice touch game. And even back then, they were uh, making all sorts of jokes like that. Who are you? Your power shields you from my spells. Don't come any closer. Stay there. No, get back. Get away. One more step and you die. Alex, you animal. No. No. Alex? It's really you. I was trapped in a terrible nightmare. It was dark and I was so cold and alone. But I never doubted that you would come and rescue me. Not even for a minute. Oh, Alex. Alex. Hey, where did Tempest come from? He wasn't in our party. And Fresca. Well, everyone else is there. Why is Tempest the one laughing? I don't know. You'd figure Kyle would be someone who does something like that. But Anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it for the Sega CD version of the game. There's no going back to uh, Meribia and a whole bunch more done with that. Uh... This is it. You kill Galleon, you play the harp, you pick up Luna, and that's it. There's no uh, dungeon after this. It's, that's pretty much it. I mean, not that that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that, you know, obviously this game is a lot shorter. Uh, I heard that when they were making this game, or the, the original Lunar, this one, uh, that they wanted to do more with the game. Uh, but they, ju they this the CD was just packed. And uh, they didn't have any more room to do more stuff with the game, so they just uh, you know, cut it off here, and well, that was that. They didn't, you know, back then, when I was your age, we didn't have all these fancy DVDs or Blu-rays or any of that stuff or multi-disc games. You wanted to uh, make your game bigger? Well, you had to cut things down. You couldn't just, uh, you know, make multi-CD games. At least not to my knowledge. Oh, 93? Oh, wow. I thought it was like more like early 90s, but... Well, there you go. I, I guess I was wrong. So I hope you enjoyed the bonus content that I've been showing off. And let's play Lunar! The Silver Star for the Sega CD. That's uh, pretty much everything that I want to show here, but... There is one more thing I want to do with Lunar. Uh, I want to show off the intro to the PSP version of the game. Oops. Too long. <laughs> I don't know what was up with that, but yeah, I do want to show off the uh, the intro to the PSP version of the game. Uh, as much as I dislike it, I, the, the game itself, or that version, uh, I do like the intro. That is pretty cool, pretty kick-ass. So uh, there are a, there are some pretty major spoilers in it, uh, which is why I did not want to show it before starting the LP, 
even though it takes place before the events of the game, but, well, you'll see when we get to it. Next time on Let's Play Lunar! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!